What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing an arcade game based on G.I. Joe, the uh, comic book, the TV cartoon series. <laughs> wow, their pants are very tight. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, this is a really cool arcade game. It's uh, sort of a super scalar game, sort of in that type of uh outrun space harrier type of thing as far as like the scaling effects and stuff like that i think it's really cool uh and shows off the incredible uh assets of the, <laughs> the cobra soldiers <laughs> oh my goodness uh, i grew up in the early 80s uh and i was a big fan of gi joe i'm still a big fan of gi joe the old school gi joe especially um, the Revenge of Cobra is one of my all-time favorite cartoon movies ever. And, uh, obviously G.I. Joe the movie was also really cool. It was, uh, pretty different, but still really awesome. Anyway, love G.I. Joe. I'm all about the G.I. Joe. So I actually do have a few of their toys even today. And this is a really cool game. This game obviously is like... The character versions that you're seeing are like a little bit later. These aren't the like early G.I. Joe. Obviously, G.I. Joe's been through a lot of incarnations, okay? There was the big Barbie doll G.I. Joe's, and then they brought out the little G.I. Joe's, the little plastic ones, and those are the ones that I grew up with. So anyway, uh, most of the G.I. Joe's that I bought were from the early 80s, from the original run of those little plastic G.I. Joes. And these are the little bit later ones, which I was still buying G.I. Joes around that time, but I, I wasn't as into it by this point. Uh, oh, Scarlet's looking nice. <laughs> so you can see how this game works. Uh, two player, it's sort of a run and gun type of thing. There's been a lot of games like this done over the years. There's a some really good games that look kind of like this on the Nintendo 64. Um, the names escape me. If you know what I'm talking about, you could put it in the comments. But anyway, we're going to play some G.I. Joe instead of just yakking about it. We're going to actually play some of this. Yo, Joe, go! All right. So who do I want to be? Duke, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, Roadblock. Oh man, you gotta be Snake Eyes first, right? Let's do Snake Eyes. Mission one. Cobra Army finishes up the heavy bomber and attacks. Then Cobra spreads mass destruction and chaos. Cobra Commander declares, At last, we completely rule the world! G.I. Joe is ordered to advance and to stop Cobra Sinister Plan. I could have done a better job of that, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Ugh. This, yeah, I like these. It's got the later vehicles and stuff. Actually, pretty cool. It's pretty cool that it, they pretty much exclusively went with those later toys. It's pretty awesome. A lot of this stuff came out... I'm gonna say around the same time as like G.I. Joe the movie, or maybe right after that. God dang, this is cool as hell. This is the kind of G.I. Joe game you, you always wanted on a home console and you never got. This is badass. <laughs> this is fantastic. And two player. Yeah, I never got to play this in the arcade. I never actually saw it anywhere in any arcade. Um, so I was really glad that I was able to play this on MAME. Years and years ago, I made a MAME laptop. I had an old laptop, and I pretty much used it exclusively for MAME arcade games. And this was one that I played quite a bit back in the, at that time. So I haven't played this in many years. I'm going to say it's been probably 10 years since I've really played this. 
I used to play this all the time. Oh, there's the bats. This is cool. This is very cool. Oh, Tomax and Zaymont. Oh, hell yeah. The twins. Their their names are spelled like one. Each of them has the same name, but one of them has it spelled one way. And the other one, the name is spelled exactly the opposite direction. Tomax and Zaymont. They're the Crimson Guard Commanders. Even though they don't actually wear the Crimson Guard outfit. Okay, let's be Scarlet. Hell yeah. Oh. I gotta admit, I do like the color schemes for this later G.I. Joe stuff. I really do. I, I always liked the later G.I. Joe color scheme stuff. Um... I thought it was really cool. It was just I was a little older by that point, so I wasn't as into it. But I always thought that the color schemes were way more interesting. You know, as they got into the late 80s and I want to say very, probably late 80s into very early 90s. Transformers kind of did the same thing they kind of changed all their color schemes a lot more blues and purples and things like that the different thing everything just looks so different look how the hisses look they're all green and it's it's crazy it's so different gi joe america's special trained mission force their purpose to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. You ever, if you've never seen G.I. Joe the movie, it's not like a live action movie, it's a cartoon movie, but it's called G.I. Joe the movie. Oh, there's the bats. Those are like robots. Those things are badass. Anyway, if you've never seen G.I. Joe the movie, just if you if, if you're not gonna watch the whole movie fine don't watch the whole movie but at least watch the opening to that movie watch the opening sequence because it is insanely awesome it it was mind-blowing back in the day like it's a, it's like all set to this really interesting music and uh it's like anime, like full anime style. It's really cool. It's really cool. I wish they would have made like, uh, you know, more like, I wish the whole GI Joe movie was the same quality as that opening. Cause it was badass. Cause Transformers, the movie was pretty much, I mean, it was like full on quality for the whole movie pretty much. Maybe not for everything, but for most of it. I mean, the the detail in Transformers the movie was just fan fantastic. G.I. Joe the movie didn't do as good a detail as that, um, but it was still really cool. Yeah, this is so cool. This is this would be a great game to play with a friend. Like, especially I can only imagine like if I was a kid back in the day. And I was really into G.I. Joe. Man, I would have crapped my pants if I'd have seen this back then. I would have crapped my pants and my friend's pants. We, there would have been so much crapping. It would have been insane. All right. We're going into the Cobra base. I love the music. It has that Ninja Turtle type. Those uh, orchestra hits and all that. Whatever, Whatever you call that. God dang, this is a good game. I mean, it's simplistic. It's not like it's the most advanced game you've ever seen. It's just, as a G.I. Joe fan, this is <laughs> this is really cool. I remember that guy. 
Urgh. Oh, okay. We'll, do, we'll be Scarlet one more time. I don't mind being Scarlet. Damn it. Ah. Oh, I love that sound effect. All right, let's be roadblock. Yeah. I think roadblock was sort of modeled after Mr. T. Because he talks like kind of like Mr. T used to talk. I don't know if you remember, but like he would like kind of sing songy kind of talk. Yeah, eat it. It's almost dead. I'm going to turn the audio up in just a second because I don't know how well you all can hear all this. And then you it's got some really good music and sound effects. You really should hear it. Arrgh, come on, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn the audio up so I won't be talking as much. Oh, the Baroness. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> it's showtime.
damn it. Back to Snake Eyes. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. All right. I think if I had one criticism, it would just, it would be that I wish they were using the uh, voice actors from the cartoon. But the, the graphics and the animation and everything in this is top notch. It's really cool. Ah. Uh, the Terradrome, is that what they call it? I always get the Technodrome and the Terradrome mixed up. <laughs> okay, here we go. I, I just love the graphics in this. That pseudo 3D stuff, it's just cool as hell. Terradrome, I think is what that is. I haven't played this in so long, I don't even remember much of it. Oh, crap. Damn it. There it is. Just sitting out in the middle of this giant field. It's our trap. You're getting our oh, is that Major Blood? Look at his outfit. It's all crazy colors. <laughs> Man, crazy colored outfits on these G.I. Joe characters. It just reminds me of the that period you know of the late 80s where everything was like like I don't know like the colors were all excessive and flamboyant and it reminds me of like wearing you, you, do you remember jams you remember people used to wear jams like shorts that they called jams I don't know if you remember that it was shorts and shirts and they everything was neon pink and green and they had all these 
extreme color. Everything was like the water pistols were all like neon colors, and I don't know. It's just a different time. <laughs> Rapper keepers. <laughs> If you didn't grow up in that period, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but yeah, it was a fun time. It was absolutely a fun time. It's, it's funny how they choose to do the graphics in this, like, oh man, screwed that up. Like it's like 3d ish, you know, cause it's, they couldn't really do 3d back then, but it's the you know, scaling poly, scaling sprites and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's no home console that could do this. <laughs> Maybe the Neo Geo could do this, but you know, this this game wouldn't have been possible on anything until like the PlayStation and the Saturn. That's the first home consoles that I think that could have done this game. I don't think the Jaguar could have pulled this off. Maybe the 3DO could, but probably not. I would say this would be a great Saturn game. I mean, for sure the, the Dreamcast and the PS2 and all that, for sure they could do it, but I think the Saturn could have pulled this off. Battle Attack Troopers. That's what those are called. Bats. Those were really cool toys. Like, the the bats were these robots, these, like, uh, android fighters, these soldiers uh, that Cobra had. And they had, like, detachable arm, uh, different kinds of weapons you could put on their arms and stuff. They had, they had like, a hologram on their chest. It's cool as hell. Very cool toy. Trying to get, give every character a little bit of time here. I wish you had more characters. It. I mean, I appreciate that there's multiple characters, but I'm greedy and I would like to have had even more. Come on now. Damn it. Ah. Just trashing everything. Damn it. Oh man, there's all kinds of hell breaking loose. Get up here. It's a big ass cave. Oh wow, what the hell? <laughs> it's like oh it's Destro. Why is there a hovercraft coming out of the dirt?
Must be mud. A lot of splashing. There's like boats and everything, so that has to be mud. Daddy. Goodbye, Joe. Oh, that was really cool. That's really cool. Finally, Cobra Commander launches the missile battleship to conquer the world. The final battle between G.I. Joe and Cobra starts now. The final battle. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Of course, we're running on top of this thing. I could use some G.I. Joes out here in some... Uh, some of our jet fighters, you know. Some sky strikers, maybe. That'd be nice. They had some badass toys, man. Uh, the my brother had that sky striker, that, which was like a F-14 Tomcat. It was awesome. That was a fantastic toy. And uh, I had some of the vehicles too. Uh, there, there, there were some that I really wanted I just never got. Like the G.I. Joe Hovercraft and um, the Cobra Raven. I always wanted the Raven. Of course everybody wanted the USS Flag. And uh, I actually have some friends that actually did have that. That was a big G.I. Joe aircraft carrier. That was a big ass toy. My cousin had the Terradrome. And that was an awesome toy too. That was a really cool toy. They don't make toys like this. Like what they used to make. They don't do that anymore. They, there are some good toys out there. But not like what they used to be. I don't really collect toys like I used to when I was young. Um, but I do have a few. And I have bought some fairly recently. But not very many. Just kind of to scratch that nostalgic itch a little bit. Um, they had some generic like G.I. Joes at the Family Dollar. Which were actually really cool. And were very, very affordable. I picked up some of those last year, I think. My buddy Luke kind of told me about some of that stuff. Oh, there he is. Long live Cobra. So, which Cobra Commander do you like? Do you like the the helmet Cobra Commander, the masked Cobra Commander? They have this, this so many variants of Cobra Commander. Like, 
There's some of them that like he's wearing like a silver outfit. It's all metal. Some of the newer revisions were pretty cool too, where he's he's wearing like a helmet, but he's wearing like armor or something. This was a newer revision of the hooded Cobra Commander. There are several versions of that too. I mean, I'm, I love the original silver helmet, silver and blue helmet Cobra Commander. Um, but I like all of them. I like the hooded one. I like all the Cobra Commanders. The cool looking toy. Damn it. Oh, he's a robot. It wasn't the real Cobra Commander. That was a robot. That's pretty awesome. Uh, music definitely sounds like Ninja Turtle music, but it's that same time period, you know? I love it. All right, we got to go back to Snake Eyes. Ah, no. He's going wild with that crap. <laughs> the voices are so weird. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Well, now you know what it's like to beat G.I. Joe the arcade game. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> Stretch that out as long as I could. Very cool game. Fun game. Not hard. I mean, obviously, it's a quarter muncher, but uh, it's not too bad. It's not very long either. Just a fun game. Throw down 30 minutes on. Have a good time. Get you and a friend together. Yeah, G.I. Joe. Check it out. Cobra Army finishes up the heavy bomber and attacks the big cities. Then Cobra spreads mass destruction and chaos. Cobra Commander declares, At last, we have completely, will completely rule the world. I'm screwing this up again. G.I. Joe is ordered to advance and to stop Cobra's sinister plan. On this episode of G.I. Joe. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.